that you have a button. So that button there, press it, stick it in there. So the circle button, there we go. Wonderful, thank you. That's it. Well, as you've seen, I've been a stroppy teenager in here. Chucked all the cushions around. <laughs> Basically, all I want to show you underneath here is there's a winter oh, yeah. panel. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You do have a wastewater isolation switch there. Okay, so that just basically heats up your wastewater so it doesn't freeze because you don't want it freezing. Yep. Okay, 12 part fuse is there, and under there, you've got your command unit. So, uh, so you've got some more 12 volt fuses, you've got your circuit breaker. Okay, we've got master switch off here. And we've got other controls here which uh, link onto the panel at the top there. So we could turn it off, turn off the pump, uh, switch the batteries from leisure to vehicle. Uh, we could turn off the lights. All of that you'll see at the top there when we go through it, okay? On the side here, you'll probably recognize some of this from a caravan point of view. We've got reverse priority. So if you ever go overseas, you plug into mains electric. Uh, often they can uh, uh, they can uh, have their wirings reversed to ours. So that's just a warning light to say, right, I can see there's power, I just can't use it. Yeah. So you have to get adapter. The rest here is just mains electric charging up your batteries, mains electric for your space heater, and mains electric for your water heating. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're happy with all that. What I do, as a good teenager, I'll <laughs> set it all back up. Ah. <laughs> but I will ask is, um, are you happy about how the bed is made up in this area? Yeah, we had a fiddle before, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, it's just literally pour the Probably stats yeah, out. Yeah, it's quite easy, out. isn't it? It is. So, some motorhomes make it too complicated. Oh, uh, well, the other one we had, it was like putting a jigsaw puzzle yeah, together. Where this is straightforward, like you'd find in a normal caravan. Put it out, throw the covers up, that's it. Yeah. How long did you have the other one for? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half. But there's a lot more space. Where Christine's standing now, yes. there's a lot more. We couldn't get past each other in the other one, no, you see? No, That is the one thing I came in here and realised. Yeah. There is really good space in here. Right. Just go put them there for a moment. Right, the panel's at the top. So this panel you may come across before mm. in the caravan yeah. as before. So really just go quickly through it. Thermostat, so from five degrees up to 30 degrees. So you can decide what temperature I want inside your motorhome. Going across, that's your water heating. So we can have off. Eco high, a hot or boost. Were you aware what the boost function works? No. Right. So the boost function is ideal if you're having a shower. Okay. Right. Now all the energy is been focusing on heating your hot water only. So underneath your bed is your combi boiler. Holds 10 litres of water. All my focus, so even if I turn the heating up to 30, it's not going to have any heating on because mm. it's solely focusing on heating your water. Right. So if you're having a shower, you have a shower, you use say five litres of water from that heater, combi boiler, what well, gets topped in? Five litres of cold water. So your temperature fluctuates, it drops. <laughs> what that boost function does, because it's solely focused on heating hot water, it tries to keep it hot as possible right, for you. Yeah. After 30 minutes, that will go down, back down to hot for you. So when that goes back to hot, your heating will then cl uh, kick back in. So as we can see, that flame symbol is now flashing as well now. So we've got both hot water and heating working yeah, together. Yeah. Just kicked in. Yeah. I will turn it down because 30. You'll be boiling. It will be boiling. <laughs> and I've got three layers of clothing on. <laughs> <laughs> we scroll across. 
energy system so we can decide if we want to work on gas gas and one kilowatt of electric gas and two kilowatts of electric electric at one kilowatt electric at two kilowatts okay i'm going to turn it on to electric now so we're not using any of your gas fan function eco or high okay so eco or high we just then uh, decide how quickly that fan will work we scroll across, we can set we can set a timer on, uh, so we can say when we want the heat to come on and off for you, okay. We can come across as well, let's see. We normally find it gets too damn hot. Yes, I bet it does. Uh, we can set the clock, set the right time, so if we are setting a, a timer and uh, yeah. start and finish, then we need that clock to be correct. We then have settings where we can offset uh, the temperature. So whatever the temperature is shown us on the main screen, we can offset that by five degrees, positive or negative. So if it's shown us 20 degrees and we come in and go, oh, it's not 20, it's only 15, I can correct that manually oh, and okay, show 15. Yeah. Uh, we've got to scroll across, change the temperature to centigrade to Fahrenheit, change the brightness of this screen, change the clock from 12 hours to 24 hours. That could be, that could be the insurance company, we're make. just making sure. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, thank you for bringing it back. 